Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some video. What if you guys today is another division video? For today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys the best way to get yourself 268 gear and 229 weapons guaranteed. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Before I actually do start with the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the recent support on the channel, watching my videos, liking my videos, everything like that. I want to say thank you guys so much because my channel has been growing pretty quickly, you know, since I started playing the division and stuff. So I want to say thank you once again. Thank you for checking out my videos and hopefully you guys will continue to support the videos. But once again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for, you know, liking the videos and everything like that. Anyways, getting back to the video, so what I want to talk about, like I said, is guaranteed 268 gear and 229 weapons. Now, once again, before I actually do say this, this might be a little bit obvious to you guys, but a lot of people still don't do this, and I have no idea why, because it's literally guaranteed 268 gear, 229 weapons, and stuff like that. So what I'm talking about is the heroic underground missions, and yes, I know it's kind of obvious because you're guaranteed all that gear and stuff, but for some reason, people still think it's not worth doing underground missions because they still think you only get like blind or firecrest gear and stuff like that. Well, to be honest, it's not because for some reason, when I was doing challenging and hard underground missions, I was only getting blind and firecrest. But personally, when I started farming heroic missions, it didn't just drop me blind. It didn't just drop me firecrest. It dropped me a lot of different gear sets that I actually kind of needed, like sentry, striker, tactician. All these different gear sets that didn't drop for me when I was doing challenging or hard missions, but for some reason when I'm doing heroic, all the other gear sets drop for me, which is kind of weird. One thing you want to keep in mind when you are doing heroic missions, you want to have at least a party or at least communicate with the players you are doing the mission with. Because personally, I tried matchmaking with randoms and stuff, and it doesn't work out. Like, it's really chaotic, it's really annoying, especially if you are, you know, not that good of a gear score or don't have that much health or anything like that. It's pretty difficult to do it with no communication. Like I said, you definitely want to party with your friends so you can communicate with different things to use. If you guys haven't farmed heroic underground missions, I would strongly recommend to put on the mods. I forgot really what they're called. They have a specific name, uh, but pretty much you can put them on and it allows you to like use a little bit less ammo and stuff and you get like more XP and more rewards. I really forgot what they're called. I know for those of you that have been playing the underground, you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty much the mods the leader puts on to like give you more XP and stuff like that. Also, two different things you want to use when you're doing heroic missions. You really didn't need this for challenging or hard mode, but for heroic missions, you definitely want one person with maxed out or close to maxing out their smart cover. Smart cover is really, really big when you're doing heroic missions because the enemies really do melt you, and if you can take cover behind smart cover and, you know, reduce the damage incoming towards you, it's going to save your ass. Also, what you want to do is have one person run the ammo support station. That is really, really big, especially if you have those mods which don't allow you to carry, like, a crazy amount of ammo. You definitely want that ammunition station. Although the heroic missions are pretty long, there are two phases, so you have two different bosses to kill, you get a lot of different loot because you can also find a chest somewhere in the mission and stuff. You're pretty much guaranteed about 5 to 6 items are 229 or 286 uh, from doing one heroic mission. So it's really, really worth it. Like I said, if you guys see my previous video, all my gear I had, all my weapons I had, I literally got that from the heroic missions. It's really good to farm. If you guys haven't farmed it yet, I would strongly suggest. If you don't like playing the dark zone like myself and you want to get really good gear really quickly, heroic missions is the way to go. Don't farm challenging missions. Don't farm hard missions. Those are honestly not worth it. If you want guaranteed 268 gear and 229 weapons, heroic missions is the way to go. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or what me and my friends use as our setup or whatever, like what abilities we use, let me know in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you have a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.